morning pre-k it's mrs nielsen let's do the morning message together today let's begin good morning pre-k today is wednesday now i know you remember what wednesday begins with what sound does wednesday make wah, wah, wah. that's correct w it's april 29th 2020 that's the month the date and the year there is only one more day in April. Only one more day, boys and girls. Do you know the name of the month that comes after April? Let's see if you remember. January, February, March, April, then comes May. Hooray! It's almost summertime. In June, the end of June, summer will begin. The weather today is cloudy. And 55, a little bit warmer, but not as warm as we would like it to be. Today, we will be learning the letter Q. Q, could you say the letter Q with me? Q, very good. Capital Q, lowercase Q. Q has only one sound. Qua, qua. Is it a consonant or a vowel? What sound do you hear when you say that? Qua, qua, like queen. Hmm, what did we learn about consonants and vowels? Consonants make only when we sounds? One, but vowels make two. So if I say queen or quilt, both begin with Q, then what do you think it is? A consonant or a vowel? That's right, it's a consonant. Do you know why Q is sometimes called the scaredy cat letter? What does it mean to be a scaredy cat? Well, he's afraid to be alone. So Q is never by himself and is always with his partner letter. His partner letter is U. Q, U go together to make the sound qua, qua in all the words that have Q in it. Let's look at some of those words right here. Take this down here for you so you can see. Let's look at the Q words in this little booklet here. Every time you see Q, you're going to see his partner letter, U. Because remember, Q is a scaredy cat. He doesn't like to be left alone. So let's look at some of these words together. I have a little Q book here. My letter Q book. Q is for quilt. Did you see that? Quilt, Q, U. Quilt. That's like a blanket that mommy might use on the couch or the bed. Q is for question mark. When you write a sentence that is asking somebody a question, you use a question mark at the end. And that has Q, U also. Q is for the word quail. That's this bird right here. It's a type of bird. It's called a quail. Q with you. Q is for quills, those sharp pointy things on a porcupine, or quills, Q with you. Q-U-I-L-L, -L, quill. Q is for quiet, shh, quiet. Like we sit in the classroom and we're listening to the teacher, right? We're nice and quiet. Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. And Q is for queen, queen, see, right there. Now, Q over here, I'm gonna show you some of how to write Q and what it looks like and some other pictures here that go with it. Q, a circle and a line. That's uppercase Q, lowercase Q, circle, down and around with a little hook. That's lowercase q. Q is for quail that we saw in our book. Quilt, the blanket. Queen, and another bird called a quetzal. Quetzal, I thought it was a pretzel at first, but that's a q, not a p. So it's a quetzal, which is a bird. And here we have q again. Here is how you do q if you are doing sign language. And remember, Miss Calderon does sign language sometimes with us, and she shows us how to do different letters. So Q is just your two fingers pointing down. 
That's Q, like that. He is a queen and he is a quilt. Now, I'd like to practice writing the letter Q. Let me just get my marker over here. Okay, so you watch me make write the letter Q and then you could practice them at home too. Q, circle. Is that a Q yet? Nope, need to put the line at the end, okay? In the bottom of the circle, you put a little line, not too big. And lowercase q, circle, line down, and you could go around, like if you're making a J backwards, okay? Capital Q, lowercase q. Now, Mrs. Nielsen would like to read you a book with the letter Q in it, like we read in school, Q. The quiet quail. So this is a bird, he's a quail, and he must be very quiet. That's the title of the book, right? The Quiet Quail. And here is the cue on top. Let's read about him and find out. Now you'll listen for the qu sound for Q. It sounds like a K and a W, but it's just a Q and a U. Quincy, hmm, that must be his name. Do you hear the sound Q and Quincy? I do. Quincy is a quiet quail. He likes to do quiet things. Quincy likes to snuggle with his favorite quilt and listen to the quiet pitter patter of the rain. He likes to just sit there and listen. He's very quiet. Quincy likes to sit quietly and read. Sometimes it's nice to just read by yourself and it's always better to read when it's quiet. You don't hear other noise all around you. Quincy likes to take a quiet walk. Quiet Quincy. Cute words. Sometimes on his quiet walks, Quincy meets his friend Dottie Duck. Dottie is not very quiet. Why do you think Dottie's not quiet? She's a duck and what do ducks do? In fact, Dante is quite loud because Dante does quack, 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 quack. Hi, Quincy, quack, quack, shouts Dante. Hello, Dottie, whispering the quiet quail. I said Dante, didn't I? I meant Dottie. Quincy and Dottie sit in the park. Quack, 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 shouts Dottie. What a beautiful day, quack, quack. She keeps quacking. Hmm, I don't know. Quincy likes it to be what? Quiet. Dottie, she likes to make a lot of noise by saying quack, quack, quack all the time. Let me hear you say quack, quack. Quack, quack. <laughs> Dottie quacks and quacks till Quincy's head hurts. Dottie, please quit quacking, says Quincy. But Dottie is quacking so loudly, she does not hear the quiet quail. He must talk really slow too if he's a very quiet bird. And Dottie's a very loud bird. She's a duck and she does quack, quack, quack too much. Quincy decides to go for a swim to drown out Dottie's quacking. He spreads his quilt on the grass and jumps into the pond. Suddenly, Queenie, the dog trots by. Queenie, another Q sound for the name Queenie. She grabs Quincy's quilt and runs away. My quilt, cries Quincy. Someone stop Queenie. But Quincy's voice is too quiet. No one hears him. Hmm, maybe he needs to go get Dottie to do some quacking. Queenie runs right past Dottie. That's Quincy's quilt, quacks Dottie. Catch Queenie, quick. Another Q word, quick. The other animals hear Dottie's loud quacking. They chase Queenie. Let's see if they catch him and get back the blanket or the quilt. Queenie is quick, but the other animals are quicker. They snatch Quincy's quilt from Queenie's teeth. They give the quilt back to Quincy. Quincy thanks all the animals for rescuing her quilt, especially Dottie. 
Your loud quacking saved the day, Quincy tells Dottie. And for once, the quiet quail is happy to have such a noisy friend. The end. Now, do you remember some of the cue words that we heard in this book? Well, there's a little cheer that might remind you of them. It goes like this. Q is for quail and a quilt for your bed. Q is for queen with the crown on her head. Q is for quack and a quarter to spend. Q is for a quarrel. What's quarrel? <gasps> That's a fight. You have with the friend. Hooray for Q, both big and small. The quaintest, quirkiest letter of all. And that was our letter Q for today, boys and girls. I wanted to just show you a few things. In your house, you may have some things that'll start with the letter Q, like Q-tips. I know mommy must have these in the house in the bathroom probably. And this is a special coin. Not all coins begin with the letter Q, but this one does because it's a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And a quarter begins with the letter Q, Q-U. It's Q-U-A-R-T-E-R. -E Mrs. Nielsen is going to send in an email to mommy some things you could do with the letter Q. I made a queen from the letter Q. And I'm gonna send you this template so you could make it too if you'd like. And I also took some Q-tips from my house and look what I did with them. I put them around the question mark. So maybe you'd like to have some fun doing things like that. So I'm gonna send mommy a little packet with some ideas and some templates for her to do some crafts with you if you'd like, or the letter Q. Now remember, Q is a consonant. It makes one sound, but it always has his partner with him, U. So it has the K and the W sound together. Even though the letters aren't K and W, it's Q. But we say qua, qua the Q. And then there's some cute little songs here that I thought maybe you'd like to sing with mommy. And don't forget, I'm also going to put the website on YouTube for our song for the letter Q. Q is the consonant letter of the alphabet. I know you guys like to sing that one. So maybe you could look at some of these songs and sing them with mommy too. Okay? Have fun and look around and see what you else you could find with the letter Q. And remember that we love you, we miss you, and we hope to see you soon. But we will still have our morning messages every day for you. So tune in and let us know what you think and how much fun you're having at home doing some of the things we send you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.